2007, the Studio Africa Project has served DC public schools and connecting its students to African art and culture. Studio Africa is a year-long program aimed to provide educational, cultural, and artistic experiences on Africa for elementary students that will enable them to understand the continents, varied geography, cultures, languages, and people. Studio Africa is a partnership between the National Museum of African Art and the Lynx Incorporated Tomic Chapter. My favorite trip to studio, about Studio Africa is the one we went to the museum. I feel that the museum experience is very important. We visited the African Art Museum this year and we visited the Artful Animals um, exhibit. So the children were able to understand how animals played an important um, role in um, the African art and, um, and how um, they were um, depicted within, within fabric, within pottery and other items. We went to the African Art Museum and there was one animal that I remember and that was the African tree, Chihuahua. And um, what I liked about it is it had strong, its ears can hold up like the, um, one of those deers. The children were able to attend a workshop afterward. They had a hands-on workshop and they created masks. So that was a very vigorous experience for them. Oh yeah, we made masks, and my mask was quite my very own, but it was pinkish and had no way for you with it too, and I decorated it. Joy about Studio Africa is when we had the instruments and we had to shake the instruments and play drums and use the shakers. I learned about the djembe drum, aka the talking drum. This instrument is called a jir. A bit jir. Say jir. And I have the djembe drum. drum. Nasa Grandma's story was about how the little boy had a fluke and how his father stole it from him. got to dance and play around with like the the people that were teaching us about the instruments and telling us the The only way you learn about other people's culture you have to eat their food and you have to sit with them. That's how you learn about the world. I think my favorite um, Studio Africa experience was the time that we went to the marketplace and we came back into the classroom. Going to the market with Auntie Oye was fun because we got to go to different markets and see how they prepared the meats. At the market, I saw a lot of fresh vegetables and fruits. They got hands-on experience knowing where to go and shop and how to go and talk and speak to the people and then how to buy the product and how to cook the product and then how to taste the product. It was wonderful. The children um, were very enthusiastic. Even our children who had really not participated before, um, they, they took a leadership role in uh, this particular um, activity. Movie making, they used a lot of stuff. 
We had avocado and we had onions. They came back and they made their guacamole. Good, mash it up, mash it up. Gently. My favorite food was couscous. No ball tastes like rice. Tea that tastes like orange juice. Those children who had never really tasted guacamole, their noses turned up. Cilantro and tomatoes. They had little chefs. They had little chefs cook the food with aprons. We ate slow food. She called this slow food because it makes you more healthier and you cook it slow. For you to be healthy and to love yourself, you have to eat the best food. Food is no good. So you want to eat slow food. And you want to cook your food. I think it's important to eat healthy because it's important to eat healthy food so you can do strong and healthy. You stay fit and you have more energy than you would when you eat fast food. It, it can help us live longer and uh, help us stay alive. So, like if you want to become something, you won't get no problems about like heartburn or something. The children got so much out of it. They had good culture on the plates and animals in the background. I'm not sure that I really liked it, but when I tasted it, I liked it. It's always good to try something new. It was good. It was a lot of fun. It tastes good. Maybe better than me. We did all this stuff that we didn't know that we can do. It was good, too. It was really good. Dora Crosby had learned about the different candles and how to celebrate Kwanzaa in, diff in many different ways. We learned the seven principles. Umoja Ujima, Kahumba Ujima, Kuchijakalia. Nia and Iman. We made wooden dolls, which we use like popsicles, like popsicle sticks, mm -hmm. and we glued it together. We had used these to make bracelets and necklaces. We had used this kind of straw to wrap around it or something. We used raffia. Mm -hmm. We used different type of color clothing for the dolls. We made hats and eyeballs and mouths, and we had made pants and dresses and skirts and jackets. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. I think y'all made them to show, to show what y'all wear and what people, what in Africa, what they wear instead of clothes, how we wear right now. They use cloth to cut out and make new clothes that they can wear in pants. I appreciate the Studio Africa program because it shows people how Africans are, how they learn, and it shows different countries instead of just one. We learned about different countries in West Africa like Ghana, Niger, and Nigeria. It shows you how they use art, how they create their music, and how they make things by hand instead of uh, getting it from stores and how they bargain and buy things and make their own food. It has been a great experience for me and I like the things that we have did. The, the art program allows them to unlock different parts of their uh, other, other standards that they would not have done any other way. It's, it's, it's extremely important that programs like Studio Africa exist because there's a part of their brains that's not even unlocked through the arts and the and exhibits and the and the field trips and the interaction and the hands-on that we just can't give them any other time. They come back with a wealth of knowledge and hands-on experiences that stick with them for probably for some of them for the rest of their lives. I think it is imperative that they have programs like yours, Studio Africa, because Studio Africa not only introduces them to a world that is out there that they do not know about, but they embody other parts of our 
curriculum. Our children are so fortunate nowadays that our schools um, recognize the importance of bringing in the arts because it, it, it touches on all of the intelligences and helps our children to connect one way or another to a particular subject. So because um, kids get boring and they shut down in the yeah. classroom, they open up when they get in a field trip, they open up with art, they open up with music, they open up when they get outside. And Studio Africa helps to do that. <laughs>